Welcome to Autodesk Simulation TV. In this tip, we're going to look at inventor parameters and how it's going to save you time with your modifications to your model. My name is James Herzing and I'm a technical consultant here at Autodesk. So as you can see, there's a lot to do here with inventor parameters. So how do we use this? Well, we're going to start by creating our model in Autodesk Inventor. After we bring that in, we're going to access the Mesh tab and click on the Inventor's Parameters button. When you do, something like this is going to show up. We're going to change the value or values of interest and then click the Update button. In this case, we're going to have a rib created in our model and we're going to change the thickness of that parameter. As a note, it's helpful if you name your parameters inside of Inventor so you know just which ones you're going to be modifying inside of simulation. Let's jump in the software and see what buttons we should be clicking. All right, so here we are with our model created. And as you can see, like I mentioned, we have a rib of a certain thickness that we're interested in. So maybe you're not the one who modeled this part, yet you need to know the thickness that the rib currently is. An easy way for us to do this, since our model is meshed, is to select the different vertices throughout the thickness. So if we go up to Vertices Select and pick those two, you can right click and inquire and see that our thickness is six inches. We don't know if that's ideal for our model, but that's going to be our first chance. What if we want to make it thicker and don't want to go back to Inventor? Well, if we click on Extrusion 3, you can see that we have a thickness value defined here as six. Let's make this a little thicker and make it nine inches. If we do that and click Update, it's automatically going to increase the thickness of that rib to nine inches without you having to go back to the CAD package and remodel anything. This can be done for multiple parameters as well. So right now it looks a little thicker, but let's go ahead and remesh this part and see what the value is now when we inquire. So again, let's select those nodes, right click and inquire, and see that the model has been updated to have a nine inch thick rib. Okay, so that's all there is for how to use Inventor parameters. It's a very powerful tool that's going to save you a lot of time in your remodeling of your assemblies. If you have any questions on this, feel free to reach out to me at the Sim Squad. Thanks a lot.